What's up guys, TC here, and welcome back to Starbound Tips. Today I've got a very, very streamlined method to pick up rent from your tenants. So, before I had a whole bunch of people that had a whole bunch of compact housing for their tenants, but they were really complaining because it was really hard to collect the rent. You know, and this is it's pretty understandable because if you have a, a big apartment complex of 20, 30, even 40 tenants, uh, you have to go into each individual room, you have to hit the colony deed, you have to wait for them to spawn back, and then you have to go and rinse and repeat that in every single room, and I can see how that could be very, very time consuming. So I sat down and worked out a design that would uh, allow us to very, very quickly call the tenant home and collect the rent. So what it is, is essentially each one of these little homes here is actually considered a home for the tenant. Uh, they cannot leave, and so pretty much the colony deed spawns up here, so as soon as they spawn in, they drop into this little tube, and these motion sensors and doors up here allow you to kind of pass through their house without disrupting it and making them uh, like upset. Because if you, uh, it, you have to have doors on the houses for it to be considered a home, right? So essentially, you walk through here, you tap all these individual colony deeds, they spawn in, they drop right on the ground, and then you come back through and you collect it in this bottom tunnel, right? So I'm going to give you a really quick example. So essentially, after you've gone off exploring for a little while, you would stand here and just kind of uh, tap, 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 tap and do this the whole way through and as you can see all of our tenants have spawned back in and they're gonna start dropping rent on the ground so now you'd hop back down walk through and as you can see we're already collecting a ton of uh, stuff just through the floor like that so we got 350 pixels uh... let's take a look at what all we got here so we got the rice seeds alright so we got ten throwing daggers three wheat a dagger uh... pearl peas throwing blocks we got a shield we got five molotovs we got bandages and rice seeds now, granted, uh, we also we didn't get a whole bunch of pixels, but one thing I should point out is that the amount of pixels you get is dependent on the planet type. So we're on a very low-level planet, so we won't get a lot of pixels. However, you can see how quickly that was to collect rent from all of these. And there's, what, one, two, three, 13 or 14 tenants here, and we managed to get it very, very quickly. And so you can see it's pretty small, but uh, after playing around with it, I found that you can actually make it a little bit tinier. Uh, and so pretty much the... Uh, you don't have really uh, an option to pick what tenant you want. Like, there's not enough space in here to put the furniture you need to select the tenant. However, if you make it one or two blocks bigger, you actually can give it enough space to to select what tenant you want, right? So this is kind of the middle ground here. But if you don't care, if you just if you just want basic tenants, this little two block wide system here works really well. So all this is is a little bitty tube. I have a lamp in the bottom and then a colony deed and then the doors up here, right? So this one's even quicker. We have even more, we have nine tenants here in a much smaller space than this one. So here, same thing. You would just stand here and just like that, they all spawn in, they start dropping their stuff. You'd hop down below, collect the rent. And just like that, it takes like less than 10 seconds to really collect the rent. And so from that, we got even more stuff up here. And then we also got some stem packs out of it as well. Uh, and so, like I was saying, this whole system is very, very fast. Um, it doesn't really allow you to... Like, I think maybe if you made it a little bigger, maybe if you made this two blocks wider, you could probably have enough space to put whatever furniture you needed to select the tenant. Although there are some tenants that require a lot of uh, furniture, so that might not be options. But over here, these tenants here, like... These are the the basic generic tenants, so you don't really like you don't get a lot of options. And also this right here, occasionally, uh, because it's so tiny, the tenant spawns in. Sometimes they miss their tube and they kind of double up. So like here, there's actually two tenants in this one and not one in here. But that kind of corrects itself over time, and it really doesn't matter because they still drop their uh, their rent on the ground, which you can pick up. So uh, that's the design I came up with. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's the only solution I could come up with to make a really really streamlined process. And I I could see someone having like a bunch of these things right here like I could actually see myself having like 20 or 30 of these in a row and you just walk through tap 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 all of them and then come back through and you could collect thousands and thousands of pixels and all kinds of loot and stuff from it especially I love that you can get weapons like you know how we got this dagger here I love that we can get that kind of stuff as an option so that's all I have for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed it please rate like comment subscribe and I'll talk to you all later